Thank you for joining us today. I'm Rudy Stebby, and welcome to episode four, inserting a new column or row in Excel 2010 here on Help Desk TV. If you determine that you need to add more information, you can always add a column or row to your spreadsheet. First, select a column to the right of where you want to insert the new column. Click the Insert drop-down arrow, then select Insert Sheet Columns. Or you can just click the Insert button. A new selected column has been inserted. Now click the Format Copy Paintbrush button and select a formatting option from the adjacent columns. The new column is now ready to be filled in. If you are in need to increase the size of this new column to fit your newly entered text, you can grab the column border, where the cursor then turns into wide arrows, for which you can then move the border to widen or shrink the size of the column. Inserting a row works much in the same way as adding a column, only you select the row beneath the row you wish to insert. And select Insert Sheet Rows from the Insert drop-down menu. I hope you enjoyed today's Help Desk TV. If you have a comment about this program, a question, or a shortcut you'd like to share with me, send us an email message to feedback at helpdesktv.ca. You can also join us on our new Windows Live group at helpdesktv.groups.live.com where you can ask a question, find info, and talk with me one-on-one -on -one with your computer problems. Thanks for watching.